What's going on guys? Jay the Decorating Guy. As you guys can see, we have a kitchen sink that's backing up. Well, you guys can't see because you're just seeing the trap under the sink. So, on this job I didn't have the trap arm with the hole in it to run the water. So, um, I'm just going to end up snaking it through the trap arm. Right now, I just turned on the water and we're going to be filling the sink while I work. As you guys can see, we're running in Milwaukee and I have the Watson gloves on. Um, I don't have a head on this cable. I had to cut it off for some reason. I had to get more snake it. So this is a back to back. So basically right there I am feeling the teeth and got a flip through. I knew it went through the teeth, it went down the teeth because of how the block covered and it didn't hit anything on the outside. So I'm snaking it out, everything is running good so far. We're gonna see how far we get. I believe we make it all the way to the end of the table with no issues. If you guys are liking this kind of video with the kitchen sinks, I don't typically do that. So I'm just seeing how far we are away. Okay, you guys can see the dimple there on the end of the at the cable. That means we're about 20, uh, we're, we're about probably 17, 18 feet in. Um, so I'm gonna push it just a little bit more just to make sure we get there. If you guys are liking the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Yeah, there's that dimple. Um, bad camera setup right there. I will be moving it in a second. Um, so I just shut the water off so that the sink didn't overflow. Yeah, there you go. Look at the cable. Look how black it's coming out. That's all grease from the kitchens. Yeah, look at that. Um, I am making a mess on the counter. I am going to be cleaning up this so you know. Grease! They don't flush these in rains. They need to be. Now look how bad that is. You gotta, you gotta get this line cleaned out, man. Power wash. So May is the manager on site. This was at night time. Oh, yeah. see all that grease on the gloves. Tell you this every time we come here. Yeah, every time we go to these buildings. How many times have we flushed the lines here? Never. Yeah, see, you guys never. hardly ever call for that. That was call an emergency. And that's it. They never do preventative maintenance on these buildings. Got the Nipix pliers. Do you guys call them Nipix or Knipix? I always call them Nipix, but I hear a lot of people saying Knipix. Knipix or Nipix? If you guys want to reach out, I use your pliers on every job. I think I have five or six pairs. Yeah, see, got a little bit of a mess there. We're gonna, gonna use a little bit of your dish soap, boss. Gonna use a little bit of his dish soap. I, uh, when I'm uploading this, it's going to be Easter Monday. If you guys celebrate Easter and you guys had a good one, look how black that was. That's horrible. Uh, hopefully everyone had a good Easter. Or if you celebrated today, happy Easter. Or if you okay, celebrated, no hopefully you had a good long weekend. Yeah. So I like the stains like that super quick. It, it's gonna get cleaned up nowhere. The dish soap comes in here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it cleans it up nice. Almost time for a new bucket, I think. And then we're gonna test this after we're all done. I tell her all the time that she's, they gotta clean the lines, yeah. and they never do. See, the manager just left. Like the amount of so grease that comes out of these lines is unbelievable, and it's every time. Huh. How often should that be done? Um. Well. 
in reality, to have a like the drains working optimally, if you got if they were done once a year, but it's just not in most company's budget. But then it's like, how often are we coming? That's basically what they look at, right? They look at how often we come to how often or how much it's gonna cost for to do the flush, right? So let's say the flush is, uh, I don't know, two grand for a line, right? Or, because uh, no, you can do more than one line. That's Let's say a thousand dollars a that line, right? Gets. So, if they had more than, if they had more than five units on one line, back up, even say four, then they could have paid to get it flushed out. Yeah. But it's like, if it's only like, so the 06, I don't know if I've done work this year or even within the last six months on the 06 line. Usually it's the end units um, because they're back to back, right? So it'll be two kitchens on one line. That's what I thought it was here. That's what I thought it would have been here. I didn't realize we were connected to the bathroom side. And that's another thing where it's like, I'm actually surprised that because if this is picking up the bathroom line, it's tied in with the toilet line. Yeah, that's right? what I was... Which is fine for draining, but when you get grease build up... So I thought it was back-to-back -to -back kitchen lines. Apparently like I was wrong. It's clogging back, the back up. Yeah, and it can back up, right? So it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's... Like, uh, it is what it is, I guess. But so the question is, should I throw out the dishes that are in that sink, or should I? Um, <laughs> uh, Let me know I'm down in the comments. Would you guys throw your dishes? I'm not going to comment on that, because I don't know what came up it. I don't know if it's tied into a toilet line. No. I can't see them having a toilet line and a kitchen line run down the same. in the exact same wall, in the exact dishes? same uh, area where they could just tie it in, right? Yeah. Now, have I seen them do they that? Yes. I've also seen many a times, more times than not, they just tie everything into the toilet stack. Oh, sure. So, I'm not telling you what to do, yeah. right? Gotcha. And I also didn't mention any of this to you. Yep. Right? That's crazy. Is also there anything I can do to prevent this, or? Um, technically, yes. Um, well, it's not to prevent it, but it's to help it not back up. We had, um, there was another building that I used to deal with, and the lady, she was on the second floor, and she would back up every month, and that's just because, same thing, they didn't clean the lines properly, and we were just going in the snake, right? And so she kept two cinder blocks under her sink. Anytime she went out, she uh, plugged the sink, took a water paper towel, soaked it, and put it down on top of that, and grabbed that cinder block and put it on top of that. So basically, on, in each sink, right? And no water was coming up her drain. It would come upstairs. And she would do that every that time she left the unit or it, went to bed. It could flood through the ceiling. So it's like, you're six of one, half a dozen the other. Like, if you're going out, honestly, grab, if you got two big pots, do that, close it off, grab some paper towel, stuff it down there, wet it, like force it down in there, grab a pot in each sink, fill it up, and you can do that. Like the likeliness of it flooding, well, if this is tied in next door, then it would flood next, uh, next door. Now I'm, I'm guessing this isn't tied in because it should have the, it, should it should have, have came up their bathtub. It should have came up their bathtub. Oh. So you're probably you're probably good so you're with probably good not worrying too much about what this is connected to, but I'm, I'm leaving that up to you. I'm, I'm not getting involved in that. Yep. And, uh, the place I was living in Toronto, Toronto kind of quality, right? Whereabouts in Toronto? Uh, Young and Davisville, 141. Oh, we go there all the time. I was there a couple nights ago. That's right. Uh, RPMS? Or how long ago was it? Oh, fuck. This is like... 
15 years ago now. Probably. Uh, so it probably wasn't RPMS back then. But uh, plunging the toilet, kept clogging, plunging it, so it's coming up to the bathroom. Yeah. Because those are all tied in on one line. Yeah. The bathroom sink, the toilet, and the bathtub. So typically, if uh, if the main drain is backed up, like the stack itself, and it's coming up, it you may see your toilet bubble, like gurgle and stuff like that, and then it will start rising up the bathtub as well. And then it will level itself up. So when you were plunging it, you were basically pushing the problem just past the toilet line where it ties in the bathtub and the sink, and that's why it was coming out of the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the guy came up, super came up and poured, um, he said, oh, it's just uh, boiling hot water, and I think he used like Windex or something like that. And poured it down and was just like, yeah, it'll be fine. And was it fine? It was not. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was why I left. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. That's funny. Well, it's not funny. Not funny. But here's so many people pour hot water down the toilet. You got to be careful really? doing that. You can actually crack the bowl. So if you guys ever do that, be careful. Also, don't ever do that. Yeah. And let's see if we can get a little whirlpool here. That's looking good. I think I'll open up the other side as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Sounds good. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Jay That Drain Guy signing out. Until next time, Trogna.